Wo wow, what's up guys I am Shetanchu from Dream Abroad to welcome you all to another episode of Dreamland Canada a video series that would help you settle in your dream country This video is about the first month expenses in Canada when we move from our home country to a place so far we are not sure of the expenses that are going to happen in the first few weeks or the first month so don't worry I've got you covered In this video I'll tell you all the expenses that are going to happen in the first month starting from the temporary accommodation to the taxis to the local transport to the grocery bills almost everything so without wasting any more time let's get started Okay before we start discussing the expenses let me tell you that from this video onwards I'm working really hard to improve the video qualities I know that the content that I provide in the video is top notch but the video quality is not that good so I'll improvise on the production quality as well from this video onwards and you'll notice in this video because this video is a blend of the white sketchboard videos which I do In fact, in this video I've tried to do some experiment and made just a black sketchboard video. I just hope that you would like it. If yes, please comment below. If not, please let me know so that I can improvise even further. Okay, now let's begin the video. Okay, so the very first expense that you're going to do after landing in Canada is of course book a taxi from the airport to your temporary accommodation. Your temporary accommodation might be a hotel, might be a friend's place. or an airbnb temporary accommodation or whatsoever but you need a taxi for sure a taxi in the toronto gta region would cost you from $25 to $75 depending on the distance the gta region is pretty large so the longest distance might cost you something like $75 so this is the first expense the money you're going to pay to the taxi driver from $25 to $75 now after getting the taxi of course you'll get the temporary accommodation this as i told you that this might be a hotel or a airbnb or maybe a friend's place if you get a friend's place it's well and good i mean nothing better because you'll save a lot of money but yes if you go to a, uh, a airbnb a temporary accommodation something like that in that case it would cost you something like 1000 to 2000 dollars mind it i have considered that you would be you know staying there for around a month even if you stay for 3 weeks i mean the range would be similar if you want to spend more of course there's no limit to spending but yes you won't get anything less than $1000 okay moving on the third expense of course you're going to get the mobile sim right it can be a prepaid or a postpaid sim but it would cost you something like $40 to $60 mind it you have to pay 13% hst over here as well So if you get a $50 plan in that case you need to pay something around $56 to $57. So it would cost you something between $40 to $60. Plans are available from different providers starting from $40 and they you know go up to $80. So the choice is yours. All right so once you've settled over there you've got the mobile the next expense is traveling. If you were living in the Toronto GTA region in the first month you would spend something like $80 to $100 per person. So if you are two people in that case it would be uh, you know around 150 to 300 dollars Also I have included you know 100 dollars as taxi charges over here because when you are new to a place sometimes you know due to the weather or sometimes due to some extra luggage you will do a lot of shopping of course to settle over there so sometimes you would need a taxi to go from one place to the other so I mean this is subject to different people but yes generally talking uh you should consider 50 to 100 as the taxi charges for the first month as well okay next one is the fooding of course how can we forget that now there are so many people of different taste uh, people from different parts of the world so it's very difficult to generalize it but still you know for one person it would be something like 200 to 250 dollars like a normal person's appetite i'm not talking about a great foodie but a normal person's appetite uh for the two persons it would cost you something like 350 to 400 dollars and if you have a child as well then obviously it would cost you a little more now the other factor is clothing and especially winter clothing if you're 
coming to Canada from May to September. You won't need the winter clothes as such, but yes, if you're coming from uh, November to April, you would certainly need winter clothing. And if you think that you've got a pretty warm sweater or a jacket in your home country, trust me, Canada can be really ruthless in terms of the weather. So if you're landing from October to March or even in the month of April, then you would definitely need winter clothing, which is made in Canada for the weather of Canada. So in that case, uh, you would need a jacket or snow boots or maybe some, you know, some inners or some gloves as well, caps as well. That would cost you something like 400 to 500 dollars per person. But yes, if you come over here from May to September, you can cut out this expense. Moving further. Now, once you have settled over there, you've been, you know, traveling for one month. Of course, after getting the Airbnb, the first thing which you need to get is, uh, is of course, a home where you will stay afterwards, right? Is of course a home where you would stay afterwards, right? So if you're going for a home, you would probably go for a one year lease. And in the one year lease, you have to pay for the first month and the last month. So in that case, you need to pay for two months rent in advance. So if I talk of the Toronto GTA region, if I just talk of, uh, you know, a basement or even a one bedroom, it would cost you something like $1,000 to $1,800. So multiplied by two, I would say you'd spend like $2,000 to $3,600. You know, it may differ from one person to the other. Some can stay in the basement. Some people can't. Some people would prefer more better accommodation like a condominium or something like that. So in that case, of course, you would need to pay higher. Generally, you would get a one bedroom apartment or a condominium for $1,800 to $2,000. So for two months, you need to pay something around $3,600 to $4,000 even. Okay, now once you've got your home, it depends if you've got a furnished home or a semi-furnished home or a totally unfurnished home. If it is a fully furnished home, then of course you need not worry about uh, many things. You would just need a little more expense according to your own need and wishes. But yes, if it's a semi-furnished home, then, then you need to get kitchen utensils, electric appliances like a toaster, mixer, microwave. If you're from India, Pakistan, UAE, you would need some different utensils like cooker, uh, frying pans and things like that. So this would cost you something like $300 to $400. Okay, so moving on, if you've got a home and it is totally unfurnished, in that case, you would definitely need some furniture as well, right? And of course, this you would get it straight away in the first month uh, because, of course, you need a mattress to sleep on. You would need a table, a chair, some basic furniture I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the luxurious couches or anything like that. So the basic furniture would cost you something like $1,000 to $1,500. Okay, these were the common expenses, uh, which I think that most people would actually do. Some might go for some other stuff as well. Some might go for some extra shopping or some cosmetic shopping or some electronic shopping, but I have not included all of that in this video. Alright, so time to summarize. Now, I told you a range about every expense, like if you were going to book a taxi, it was from $25 to $75. So here I've taken an average just to get a total and an idea of the cumulative expense that you're going to do in the first month. So if you're a single guy or a single person, in that case, you'd spend like $50 for the taxi, around $1,000 for the accommodation, the temporary accommodation, around $50 for the mobile sim, around $250 for the fooding, $150 for the transportation, $500 if you land in the winter season, so you need to get the winter clothings. And if in case you did get the unfurnished home, then in that case you would also need the furniture, so you would spend something like $1,200. So overall, if you're a single person, it would cost you approximately like $5,500. Now, let's say that you're a couple. In that case, the taxi fare would be same, like $50. You would probably stay in a bigger place. So let's say $1,200. The SIM charges, the mobile data carrier charges would double, obviously, so it would be $100. The fooding would be like $400. Uh, the transportation would be like $350. Of course, if you land in winter season, it would be like $1,000 extra. And for the future accommodation, the first and last month you would actually spend something like $3,000 and in the furniture if you don't get the furnished home in that case you would spend something like $1,500. So 
So overall for a couple, it would cost something like $7,500. So yes, this is the average guys. Uh, you can cut short a lot many expenses over here. Let's say if you actually get the temporary accommodation for two weeks or one week and you manage to get the home very soon after that, you'd save a lot of money uh, over there. After, if you land in the summer season over here, you would save, save a lot of money with because you don't have to buy the winter clothes. If you get a furnished home, you would save a lot of money because you don't have to get the furniture. So yes, you can save a lot of money, but yes, this is the rough estimate of what you would spend if you are coming in a Toronto GTA region for a single person and for a couple as well. Okay, I just hope that the information that I've shared in this video would be helpful to you guys. Uh, please note that the information shared was in respect to the Toronto GTA region. Even all the other major cities would have similar expenses, maybe $500 less or $500 more. Probably $500 less because Toronto is the one of the most expensive cities here in Canada. So if you guys like the video, please click the like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Also, I'm now available on Instagram as well. So you can go and follow my Instagram handle, dreamabroad.mylife. Thanks again for watching this video.